As they are manifesting what I'm preaching, let them come out, actually. Alright? I want to greet our pastors. Thank God for the lights. Thank God that they are here. I thank God for the blessed day. When it rains, it is blessings. Hallelujah. When it rains, it is the blessings of God. The 
the word is important. If I do not touch you, the word will touch you. Yes. If you will not remember me praying for you today, you might forget my hand on your tummy or wherever. Alright? But the word, you will know it. You will remember the word. You will remember that that message you preach on that day. That was the message that touched my life. So you remember the word. The word of God is important. Alright? So I am going to preach the word of God. I'm going to give you a message today. Hallelujah. We can take our Bibles for those in the head of the book. So today I'm going to speak about the heart. I see there's a lot of ladies here. I like these kind of topics. The heart. Yeah.
So what happened was, she said, give the baby to that mother. Don't cut it. Don't kill it. So the, the King Solomon said, bring her. This one is the mother. Amen. And that day, when he did that, he went out about the wisdom that he had. That's the day he became famous for his wisdom. That's the day his calling was revealed. That's the day people came from far for him to judge the case. So that he can say what is what is what after that, that incident that happened of this, the, the two mothers. But what I want to speak about today, it is the heart. It's the heart. What is the intention in your heart? What is the intention Hallelujah. of the heart? That is my message today. All right? That is my message today. It's about the heart. Because God has revealed unto me that your heart is spirit. The heart is spirit. You cannot see the heart. You cannot see someone's intentions. You cannot see someone's mindset. You cannot see. Alright? You cannot see that. Meaning it's spiritual. Alright? You can't see it, you can't touch it, you don't know. Someone might look at you and someone might think something about you you wouldn't know. A lot of you might think something about me as you are looking at me. Each one of you have a different thinking now in your mind about me. If I have to go around and ask, what are you thinking? Each one will say something else. What is that? It is an intention. Don't worry, I go deeper. You might not understand now, but you'll understand soon. Hallelujah. So I will understand soon. I will understand soon. So God was revealing unto me this thing of the heart and the intention. Someone say intention. You might know, you might not know someone's intention. That is why God looks at the heart. God, when when He when you have a prayer, when you have a prayer, God does not worry. Hallelujah. God is not worried about your emotion. To answer your prayers, God is worried about your intention. Yes. God is worried about your heart. He's worried about your intention. What is your intention? I want to tell you today God is not looking at your face God is not looking at who you are God is looking at your intention He is looking at your heart Hallelujah 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 is your intention today for the Sunday service? What is your intention today that you 
Why did you come to the crusade? Was it to look what outfit is she wearing? Was it to see what high heels is she wearing? Was it to see can she preach the gospel? She's a woman. Was it to see how young she is? I'm older. Don't worry. Was it, was, what was your intention? God answers the heart, the intention. What was your intention? Did I just come here to show up so the pastor can see I was there? Am I just in church because I actually just like playing with keyboard? I don't like the church. What is your intention? What is your intention? It's very dangerous, this topic that I'm talking Yes, it's dangerous. I want to read the scripture of last night to <coughs> mind. There was a blind man last night in the open air. There was a blind man in John 9. Yes. And this blind man, the Bible says, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. He was blind from birth. Okay? So this man's parents, the disciples asked Jesus. They asked him, and his disciples asked him, Master, who did sin? Why are you worried about sin if a man is blind? Why you don't ask why you heal him? Master, heal him. They asked, who sent them? Their intention. Look at their intention. What was their intention? Jesus came to heal. They came to ask questions. Their intention. Furthermore, the Bible says, they asked Master who did son this man or his parents. That he was born blind. Jesus answered, Neither had this man son nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay? Like you today, you are having many questions, many things, many things, many things, many things is running in your mind. Me, I don't know them. Jesus knows them. We had a message for the first time we were in for this door there in the flesh. And the message that day was God sees. He is the our Lord God. The God who sees. Hallelujah. The same message today. I might not know your intention why you are at the service today. I might not know what mindset you have. I might not know what question you have. But God sees. God knows. He knows your intention. He knows why are you here today. He knows why did you offer up your day to come here. You could have been snorching on your couch. You could have watched X-Men and white boxes and white boxes. You could have been on Xbox. You could have done many things. You could have been on Facebook and Instagram. Hallelujah. But God knows why you are here. God knows why you are watching us today. Hallelujah. He knows your intention. Say, God knows my intention. God knows my intention. The blind man, Jesus saw him. And his disciples that was with him asked, Who sent now? Who sent it? Was it the man or was it the parents? Was it him or was it the who was the problem? Yeah. It's a situation to be judged. And where does God judge? God does not judge on the flesh. He judge on the heart. I want to tell you, you can be a good person. Yet your heart can be turned. I want to tell you, people can call you as the best person. They can see you as the good person. But your heart can be dirty. Your intention. People can portray themselves as good. They can portray 
portray themselves as beautiful. But what is their intention? Today, Jesus is judging your heart. Hallelujah! Is in your closet today. Hallelujah! You that have been hiding in your prayer closet. Hallelujah! Jesus is in your closet today. He's judging your closet. He's judging your intention. He's judging your heart. The disciples, they cross question Jesus. Now that you understand it, we are almost there to get in there. The disciples looked at the blind man. They asked Jesus, Who sent me? I am so sure the fact that I'm bringing the message here today. Many people have judged you from outside, yet they didn't know your intention. Many people have looked at you from the outside, and they have asked questions. They have, oh, hi. <laughs> I don't want to preach this message, eh? This is a tough one. But God has given it to me, not today, gave it to me weeks ago. And he said to me, that one you have to go preach it. The call, I'm telling you, don't have a choice. Whatever you will do, what, what, what. Say, my intention. My intention. My intention. My intention. I want to tell you, Jesus today is inside your closet. Today, Jesus is in your heart. Today, Jesus is not, he's looking in the heart. He's looking in the heart of your enemy. He's looking in that heart. Yes, sitting here on, on watching us on YouTube, Facebook. Jesus today, he is sorting out your heart. He's inside there. There where no one can see. There where the enemy is conquering and making his plans. Hallelujah. We are getting there. We are getting there. Jesus is in your closet. Why do I say a closet? Because there where you think all sorts of things, you can see her to the day. She's coming to the washing basket to the day. <laughs> No one knows what is on your mind. You don't even know what is your enemy plan for tomorrow Monday. I'm waiting for her. It's in a closet. It's locked up. The plan is locked up. But today Jesus is touching in that closet. Jesus is touching in someone's closet. In someone's secret mindset. It's a mindset you cannot read it. It's a mindset you doesn't know. It's a mind that you cannot read or know. But who is reading the mind? Jesus. Who is knowing what the mindset is saying? Who is knowing what they're thinking? Jesus. Who is knowing the plans? Jesus. Why? Because he is the all-seeing God. The God of Allah. The God who sees. The God who knows. There is nothing that can be hidden for the Lord. The book in Amos 7 said, 3, 7, it says that he will not do something unless he reveal it unto his servants the prophets. For some people here yeah, and some people outside waiting for you because the secret is out. The secret is out. The secret is out because God looks at the heart. 
how is your heart? Hallelujah. You can look pretty, you can put makeup on, you can put the best suit on, you can show people you are the man. How is your heart? Hallelujah. You can be the best preacher on the pulpit. You can preach to the world. How is your heart? What is your intention? Yes. I am happy that God is spirit and is not a man. Yes. In Numbers 10, 23, the Bible said, He is not a man that he...
Jesus is not a man that he is. 
soul asks Jesus forgive me for what I have done and you can go to heaven that sinner that you think is a sinner that you call a sinner that one that's not here today the one that is not doing what we are doing that person his heart might be better than your heart his heart might be better good than your heart the day when you and he must stand before God then Jesus will say give me that sinner you can go into heaven but you that serve God 20 years 30 years 40 years you that are in church Jesus will tell you I do not know you because of your heart there was two mothers by Solomon and Solomon said because that mother felt it for the child her heart was the one Solomon was testing not a flesh Solomon was testing her heart what is in your heart what is your intention is your intention today I'm just coming to serve Jesus for healing is your intention today I'm just sitting here because the seats are empty is your intention today I want to be a woman and a man of God so I can sit on people's heads is your intention today I don't know because my mother has sent me what is your intention what is your intention judges the heart the disciples asked him who sinned was it the parents or was it the boy who was blind who was sinning so many times we point fingers to people he's a sinner yet your heart is faulty as well yet you are not good as well how is your heart? What is your intention? The answer for them was, Jesus said to them, Neither have this man sinned, nor his parents. So no one sinned. They were thinking this man was sinning. They were thinking the parents were sinning. Jesus said, ah, no one said it. It is God who did this. It is God who has done it. I want us after the service to have a change of mindset the way we look at people. Have a sort of mindset change. When you look at people, don't think of them as bad but pray for them pray for God to touch their heart pray 
for God to touch their hearts. Because it's the heart that God looks at. It's the heart that needs to be delivered. The same today, your enemy is looking at you and planning things on you, having intentions. What are they going to do to you? Or they have done it already to you. They are conspiring. They are sitting and planning what to do and you don't know. You don't know the intention. You are good to them. You are still helping them. You are friends that you are helping with bad intentions. You have friends that you are helping who is having bad intentions. You have a friend who is having an intention of stealing your husband. What is that intention? Be careful. You don't look people at how they look. Don't look at people on appearance, physical appearance. That is why we get scammed. We get the scam. It's called the scam. You have been scammed. It's an intention. And I want to tell you, an intention can take very long. It can be short. It can be long. The person can plan on your life for long. They can be your friend for long. And you wouldn't know what is their plan. Yes. When she died, I'll take a house. When she died, I'll take that, that dress that she was wearing, that one. <laughs> when she died, I want that bag. <laughs> Or the heads or whatever. Yeah. yeah, they plan. It goes over years, the intention. That is what the Bible says in Job. God will restore the years that the locust has stolen from you. Yeah. Because people can plan on you over years. Yeah. And you pray for Monday night only. Sunday you pray. Fine, done with the prayer. While the enemy has intentions for years to scatter your life, to lock you up, to bind you, and you think your prayer is enough, you don't know. Your Sunday prayer to come to church is enough. I want to tell you, oh no, your enemy are planning on you. Your enemy have intentions. Your enemy have a heart. There is stuff happening in that heart. Yeah, you don't know, but God knows. You think you are okay. Half is okay. But tomorrow you step out there by your house. People have planted something for you. Because they want to bind you up and your life must not move forward. Your life must not your life must not go. Your life you must not prosper. You must not make it. What is the intention? This is the love and service. We are going to the love and service. From every intention, whether it is a spiritual intention that has been speaking out in the spirit, you get people, your best friend or your bad friend or your worst friend, whatever friend they call themselves, that person can utter words into the spirit realm which can tie your life. They can speak curses over you. I pray to God this and this must happen to her. They even come to you and tell you, this, this, this is going to happen to you. Two days after that, there you can't walk. There you have a pain. There you can't go to work because of curses that has been spoken in the spirit. Words, mere words, 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 words. Not that some Roma words. Words by any person who was upset with you. They spoke curses over your life. 
The next moment, you can't do anything, you are tired. That is why Jesus came to set the captives free. To break every chain that has been binding you down for years. To break chains on your life. To break the enemy's powers. To break curses that has been spoken on your ministry. To break curses that they say you will not even go far. Hallelujah. When they said, oh no, she is a nothing. Oh no, they want to keep them like this and like that. They just want to be the people. That is curses. They just want to be like that. And they want to be like this. <laughs> they want to keep themselves like this. But I'm telling you, I have news for them. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is to, after today. After today, Jesus is going to love you. Jesus is going to take you into a new dimension they have never seen before. Where they have said you want to keep you like this, I'm telling you, you're going to keep you like that. You're going to be exactly like that. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is your savior. Jesus is your deliverer. Jesus is your healer. Jesus is the easy goal. Hallelujah. They're going to ask you, where did she go? Where did he go? I wonder. He's shining. That's what your enemies is going to say after the services. You're going to see. They're going to see the glimpse of God over you. They're going to see the glimpse of God. They're going to see the glory of God over you. I speak the glory of God over you. They're going to see it over you. In the name of Jesus, they're going to notice it over you. It is going to be tangible over you. They're going to feel it in your presence. They're going to know something, something, something has changed. Oh, my God. 
move now. Every curse over every young man and woman in this church today in the name of Jesus.
God is showing me that someone, you had something as I was preaching. There's something like turning in your stomach. Come out. I pray for you. It's like it feels like a turning to a sin. In your stomach, I will pray for you. Hallelujah. You can come out. God is showing me someone with ear pain. You can come out. He showed me someone that is a baby that is sick. You can come. I'll pray for you. Like these ones that has been manifesting. You can come out. God is showing me someone. You are about to write exams. I need to pray for you. You can come out. I'm in fact, I'm going to pray for uh, for the school work for everybody at the end, alright? God has showed me someone. There's a hand problem. A hand problem here. Yeah. Can, can you just manage them? Might be hard. Can you just wait until I'm done? Stand up that side for me. God has shown me someone there is a hand problem in your hand. If you are watching me online, you can comment and media will let us know. If you are online, hallelujah. Pain in your hand here. Yeah. Then God is showing you someone. When you, you long a power, you wanna fight with someone. You wanna fight with someone. I need to pray for you. Hallelujah. Then God is showing me someone. You had a vision where you dreamed yourself wearing a crown. I need to pray for you. Oh Karababa Shete, show the pain, show the pain. Someone whose period doesn't stop. You are flowing, 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 flowing. Flowing, flowing, flowing. Oh, hallelujah. Then God is showing me someone. You had a vision. And in this vision, you were seeing an eye, an eye, an eye, an eye, an eye. You can come out. You can come out. You can come out. Hallelujah. There's a child here that gets visions. If you are a mother and you know your child is here and they get visions, please bring the child to me for prayer. Pray as you are here. Pray, 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 pray. As you are here on the red carpet, pray, 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 pray. Be in prayer. Be in prayer. Be in prayer. God is showing you someone. In your house, there is like a short man that's visiting your house. It's like a short man that's visiting your house. That walks in your house. It's like a short man. Spiritual. Spiritual. Then God is showing you someone's car that is not working. Your car is not working. Your car is not working. Your car and someone with a feet problem. Feet problem. Feet problem. Feet problem. Someone with a feet problem. It's like the year by your by your calf. By your calf and your feet uh, and your legs. There's a problem. Hallelujah. Someone that is your prayer life is messed up. You you pray but you can't break through. I need to pray for you. Then God is showing you someone. You have a ministry, but your ministry is busy breaking up. It's not like it's flowing. It's not flowing anymore. Your church is breaking, breaking. People are scattered. I need to pray for your ministry. I need to pray for your ministry. I want to ask for, for ministry people, for people in ministry, I'm going to pray for you last. There's a lady yesterday, I asked her, is she here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For ministry people, I pray for you last. Last. Then God showed me someone. You have a pain in your side, 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 side of your body. It's a man. Then God showed me someone. Hallelujah. Who has visited some coma? You visited some coma. Then God showed me someone with a feet problem. And then God showed me someone. You, you have a vision, and inside your hand you are holding something in the vision. You are holding something inside your hand in the vision. Then God showed me a name, Elsa, 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 Elsa. If it's one of you or one of your family members, you can come out. Yesterday I had a name called Sina, Sina, Salvia. If you are here today, you can come out.
about the child with a vision. Is he coming for the child yes. with a vision? Yes. Okay, no problem. I'll pray for her. Get vision? What is he?
pour your faith into me. He has answered your prayers. I see a bubble.
in the name of Jesus, salvation to your house, salvation to your family, salvation, salvation to your husband, to your wife, salvation to your to whoever your kids, even your neighbors. I declare and declare because of you they will be saved. You will let us know. If there was an amount in, in your account and now it's, it's been multiplied, you let us know now. Okay? Yeah. While you are here. Alright? If you find money in your purse, you let me know. You let me know. You tell me now. Don't worry, I won't take your money. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't take your money. You tell me now. If your phone ring now and you get a job, you tell me now. It can be Sunday. God is able to let your boss call you and give you that job. You tell me now. All right? You tell me. Hallelujah. I'm done with the service right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, bless your people where they're going. In the name of Jesus, bless them. Increase and multiply them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they shall go, I plead the blood of Jesus over them. No accident shall follow him. They shall serve you long life. In the name of Jesus, it is done, it is done, it is done. I love all of you a lot and shall you. Know.